Hello, this is Victor Campos. Um, continuing to work on my Android project. Uh, on my last video, I showed you delicious.com slash vmcampos, where you can see a link to Kodika Prototypes, which is a super cool Kodika Editor secret link, which takes us here, this, this Kodika Editor, which for educational purposes we will use to create the interface for our application. Once we've downloaded the code, then we can load it up in uh, Eclipse and continue to work on our app. So I'm going to create an autobiographical application, an app about me. I wanted to say a little bit about myself, my resume, work experience, um, maybe some of my uh, social media and such. So you can drag a header. We'll fill in the details of the code or that is, we'll fill in the details of the app in code in Eclipse later, so I'm going to leave it with the generic names. So I also then want a nav bar, drop a nav bar in there. That needs more buttons, because I'm going to have a home button, an about button, and a social media button. So on the right side, select to add two new buttons. Here we go. Um, some things that I can do are, for example, select this first button, activate is initially active, yes. So you see the button will look like it's been clicked. I want to select that because I want to I want to get that code. The whole point of this Kodika editor is that we can select options and such, and then it'll give us the code, and then we can c further refine the code. For example, maybe I want an icon there for let's see for home and I'll call that the home button I won't bother filling in the other ones just yet I want to do it myself I want to have a heading first of all at the top and then a picture and then at the at the bottom I want a footer maybe to write some copyright info or, or something and so this would be my first screen full of content. And then when I click the second button, it'll take me to my resume, and I'll have my resume content there. Well, in this free editor, this educational purpose editor, I cannot create multiple pages here. I have to do that manually. But no problem. What I want to do is borrow these widgets and then use them in Eclipse. So I'll just drag these widgets in here, collapsible, what does that do? Basically, I'm going to add more sections to it. Basically, the way it works is you tap one of these and they open up. They open up to give you more content, perfect for a resume. After that, I'll add a list view, drag in and drop it, make sure it's after the collapsible element. And this one works by having different um, buttons and dividers. Pretty straightforward. We can add bits of content here. I'm going to use it for my social media screen where I can click show me Twitter or click show me Google Plus, etc. Of course I'll fill in the details in Eclipse, but right now I'm just rapid prototyping. I'm using Kodika to quickly create an interface. Uh, we've got a few other widgets we can play with, for example form elements in case someone wants to send us an email or something. I'll get back to those a little later, but uh, I've got some pieces now which I want to use. I'll grab one more, the, the grid widget. I'll put that down here. And that basically divides up your interface into rows and columns. Let's say I want two rows, two columns, and I'll put some icons there. So the great thing about code, this link that I've given you for Kodika is that you can quickly create your app interface and then you can download your code at the top right. The bad thing is that there's no way to save this on the web. If you accidentally refresh your screen or press back on your web browser uh, and you come back to the screen, you lose everything. So be careful. Don't refresh your screen. Don't leave your screen or you'll lose everything. I just simply want to use this tool to quickly create my project and then make sure on the top right you click download HTML depending on your web browser it'll either download right away or it'll ask you where would you like to save this file or what would you like to do with it make sure you select to download 
mine downloaded and I'm going to go to the folder where this downloaded to in my case the downloads folder I'll put it on my desktop for the moment and then on the next video I'll show you what we're gonna do with this interface that we created we use the Kodika editor to create our interface and now let's get it into Eclipse so come back for the next video